Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be going over how to reset your password on Linux if you forgot it. So in this tutorial I'm going to be covering the easy one because it's the easiest to explain, and uh, I don't want to go into too much detail with the complicated chroot one because really you should be reading the method uh, on the tutorial that's a little bit more in-depth. But uh, if you want to check both of those out, check the link in the description for the written guide. But anyways, to start this off, I can't access my account here. I've purposely scrambled my password, so if I log in my normal password, it's gonna fail and I can't get in. No matter what I do, I can't get in. So to solve this problem, the best thing to do is I know the access password to my root account because every time I use my Ubuntu VMs or Ubuntu computers in general, I always set a root password after they disable it during the installation because I like to know the root password. So to restore my stuff, I can press Control alt f1 through F2 all the way to F6, and I can access the TTY console. And that is an emergency terminal that you can log into. And if you see that I'm logging in with my username, it's gonna fail still. And like I said, that's because I don't know my password. But if I write root and then enter the root password, I am logged in. And then from here, I can do pass wd my username. I can reset the password and it'll update the password successfully. Then I can exit. I can log into the console with it now, now that I know the password. I can also go back to the login screen here and I can log into my account and my password has been effectively reset. Even though I didn't know it, it didn't make me enter the old password because I have root access and I can easily shift the passwords around and that's how it works. Like I said earlier, if you need the password reset and you have no idea what the root account is or, or any of that, please check the link description. The link in the description, I go over how to use a ch root and to bypass all of that, and it's very interesting. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next one.